Hey everybody, it's Will here again. Hope y'all are doing well, and I want to take a minute to bring y'all another guitar review from my personal collection. Hope you enjoy. Here we've got a Harmony H15 Bobcat, dating from late 1967 approximately. The Bobcat was part of a family of guitars that Harmony made in the 60s. It was the Silhouette series. And they started with, they were all kind of offset style, kind of in the vein of maybe a Jazzmaster or Jaguar. Uh, it was sort of Harmony's nod to that, the sort of offset body design, kind of angular thing. It was uh, very fitting for the aesthetic of the swing in 60s. But they started out, they had the H14, which was a single pickup. It just had one D'Armond gold foil kind of in the center here. Then you get the, the two pickup version. And then they had some even fancier models, I think called the Silhouette itself. Um, and of course, they made these under numerous different brands as well. You can see not only Harmony branded ones, but uh, they had them branded as Silvertone, sold through Sears. That was probably the most common. But you'll also see Airline from Montgomery Wards and various other catalog companies. I think Holiday may have been another one. And... Uh, too many to think offhand, but uh, these were produced by Harmony for many different uh, companies over the years, sellers. But anyway, it's hard to speak too much about these spec-wise, so I'll talk about what I know. These are a short-scale guitar. I believe it's about 24 and a quarter, which is uh, very close to that of, say, a Fender Mustang, just a hair longer scale than that. Um, it has the two D. Armand Golden Tone pickups, often referred to as gold foils, which were kind of my main reason for buying this guitar. I love these pickups. They have a really fantastic sound for old gritty blues music or garage rock or that sort of a thing. Crank it up through a loud tube amp and it really uh, has a gnarly sort of a sound. Um, has just a standard stationary bridge and the... Uh, or tailpiece rather, and then a floating, like an arch top style bridge. The electronics, uh, two volumes and two tones, and a three-way toggle, so similar to a Gibson. Uh, it's 20 frets. The neck, it's funny, it was advertised back then as being a slimline neck, but this is, a, this is a baseball bat if I've ever seen one. Definitely closer to a Louisville slugger than a slimline neck, but it's very comfortable. And this guitar was well taken care of, so the frets are in great shape, and I find it very easy to play. Uh, it doesn't have high action or a twisted neck or anything that many of these seem to have had happen over the years. Now, this guitar has a cool story. I bought it late last year from a guy, a gentleman on Guitars Canada Forum called Dave Thorburn. He was the original owner of this guitar, and it was purchased for him uh, in Ontario, uh, at the conservatory where he was taking lessons, probably late 67, early 68, and he had owned the guitar from new, learned to play on it, and had it until late last year when he listed it for sale, and I, I had to buy it. A good friend of mine, Justin St. Laurent, has a Bobcat, and uh, when I played his, I just, I'd had some other harmonies by that point, but I was really interested in the idea of a true solid body harmony to add to the collection, and this one is a great example. I'm not sure what wood it's made out of. It looks like it might have a maple veneer on the front and back. And the fingerboard is stained to look like rosewood or ebony or something, but it's definitely just a dark stain applied to a lighter wood. Anyway, I hope you learned something from this uh, discussion portion, and I look forward to showing you some sound samples of the Harmony H15 Bobcat. Take care.